Well, hey everybody. So yeah, I'm doing my uh, Formula One preview in my apartment yet again. So anybody on Spotify, you're certainly not going to miss any uh, any <laughs> onboard footage today. Uh, but anybody watching me on YouTube, by the way, guys, does anybody think that Naomi Schiff, the black girl, she's so hot? Oh my god. <sighs> anyway. Okay, uh, let's let's get back to the uh, the actual racing. Jesus, she's just oh, she's gorgeous. Fuck me. Anyway, so guys, what a race and what a what a weekend. Championship, Max Verstappen, huh? My God, Max Verstappen, three-time world champion. He's up there with Ayrton Senna on technically the, you know the. Uh, the amount of championships. Oh, and by the way, if you're watching me on YouTube here, I'm gonna have a gonna have a beer. I'm gonna have a Bulmer's a cider. Maybe I should call this drink with Pete. Should I call it that? Anyway. But Verstappen. Unbelievable. Unbelievable dominance this this year. It's just that Red Bull car. You know what it is? It's like the, the Mercedes of years ago when Hamilton was dominating. Just absolutely fucking incredible. It really is. It's just unreal, the performance. Adrian Newey has just absolutely... Oh, sorry, guys. I'm just kind of getting the old uh, the camera right here. But Adrian Newey has just got that car so... <laughs> The balance is incredible. You see, guys, and that's what I'm always saying, right? Is that like you could have the greatest chassis handling wise, but if you don't have the engine, you're screwed. If you've got the greatest engine in the world, but the chassis is not right, you're screwed. It's all about the balance. And Adrian Newey has just got it down to a T. He really has got it down to a T. Because I genuinely think that um, that Mercedes, at the moment, they certainly have one of the best engines, right? Our engine engine speed. Now, I know they're kind of, oh, well, this and that on Formula 1. No, don't mind that bollocks. Absolute lot of fucking horse shit, what they talk about, okay? Uh, the only person that I'd actually really listen to is Nico Rosberg and Martin Brundle. They're good commentators now, except Nico Rosberg... Nah, he's a little bit edited now when it comes to Lewis Hamilton, which is very, very strange. Uh, but he's still very, very good. Very good. Um, but Adrian Newey is just, he's a genius. He's a genius. Absolute genius. Um, and I've got my roommate here in the back. Hey, Roxy. Say hey to everybody. Hi. <laughs> good evening. Good evening. And Adrian Newey, he, he's, he, honestly, he's, he's the man. He really is the man. And what he's done with that Red Bull car, just self-generating grip on that car is, it's insane. And I don't know where, don't know how the guy's doing it, but again, that's the genius of Adrian Newey. That's the genius of Adrian Newey. And Verstappen, Third year in a row. Can they do a fourth year? I probably think they will. I think uh, they'll probably clinch it. <laughs> well, probably with about four or five races to go next year. However, this year is not over because there's a lot of lot of a uh, lot of teams that are competing for second, third, fourth. And the thing is, guys, is that if if you finish up one place up above somebody else so if you're coming third in the championship but you finish second you get a lot more you get a lot more uh, prize money which is fantastic for the teams so there's a lot to play for like it's not just all about you know the position there's a lot of money at stake here and to keep the lights on as you'd say so very very important for all the teams because most of the teams are spending a hundred million a year and even with the budget cap coming in, it's even more restricted. So, you know, <laughs> you, you've really got to make sure that, okay, if I'm spending 10 million this year, 
what's it going to? Is it going to an Adrian Newey guy? Is it going to somebody else? So you've got to be very, very focused of where the money is going. Uh, whereas, you know, before the budget cap came in, Mercedes were just throwing money at the problem. So in other words, okay, that didn't work, right, Grant? Chuck another 10 million of that. So obviously they want to make sure that they have the right amount of money, but at the same time, it's more restrictive now. So they've got really got to focus and sharp sharp honing in on that. It's almost like a fine craft at this stage. Uh, but anyway, Verstappen, brilliant dominance. Uh, Oscar Piastri, he's the man this year. Now, I would 100% rate Piastri over anyone out there, even Alonso and Verstappen. Alonso and Verstappen were, are my boys, but no. No. Oscar Piastri is the boy. He is the man. He is the man. He's going to be the up-and-coming new guy. If he gets the right car... He's going to be multiple world champion. Multiple world champion. So, I think, um, guys, great, great race. Great race. Piastri won the uh, the sprint, finished second again in the, the actual Grand Prix. Fantastic result. Brilliant. And I think we're going to have a great showdown in Texas in two weeks' time. It's going to be a great showdown because, and do you know why it's going to be a great showdown? Because the championship is done. No more pressure. So in other words, basically, it's like the fucking Wild West now. It's going to be fantastic. So guys, very short podcast today, but we'll be back again in two weeks time for uh, Texas. Cheers.